So what we, what we want people, everybody to think in terms of is crowdfunding is exactly as it says. And to, you are asking a large number of people gathered together to look at your, whatever you're offering. They are disorganized and unruly, which means that you are talking to people in a wide range of places. The crowdfunding platforms for real estate operate, in, uh, there are a variety of them on the way, but they all tend to be moving towards a, a particular niche that they're in, such as they're equity based. They're going to raise equity for a shopping center. They're going to be, so they'll take, they'll raise 25% of the equity that you need to do a shopping center transaction, for example. They're going to raise money for a multifamily housing project. There's others that are doing debt for single family residential only, which is one that we're doing patch of land. Um, there are um, equity crowdfunding platforms that deal just with multi small multifamily houses. The one we're, I believe we're gonna uh, work with is Loquidity, and you can look that up. And what happens is, as these, all these platforms begin to improve, and work on their own business model. The reason that Patch of Land is the one that I focused on is because they are um, unique in the sense that they will fund the transaction themselves. So they then, in turn, go out to the disorganized crowd. They ask the disorganized crowd of accredited investors to back fund the loan that they have already made. So what our goal is, is to put a, put a streamlined package together where we can present something to Patch of Land and they can fund. Right now they typically fund in uh, seven to 14 days from the time they have all of their due diligence in place. We are working on a streamlined package and it, if you think in terms of how this works, we have Patch of Land is a national, they're, they're, they do a, they're doing like 180 speaking engagements this year talking about what they're doing. They're raising money on the one hand and they're loaning money on the other to investors. They, in every market, have to find their own attorneys. They have to find their own title companies. They have to find their own group of appraisers, right? They, because they have their own due diligence. They're not going to loan somebody some money. They, they like, they've got due diligence like banks have got due diligence. So you wind up with a situation where the patch of land comes to Knoxville and we have, as a lead sponsor of the group, a great attorney who uh, we have an excellent title company. We have an excellent accounting service, CPA firm, to manage the distributions. If we create an LLC to manage the raising of the capital, we have the accounting in place to create the K-1s and all of the financial statements in place immediately in one location, right? We, we have in-house and with the people that are in the room the ability to be a single source to streamline the application process. In no situation will Patch of Land ever give up their own due diligence. They, they, they would never do that, nor would we ask them to. But what we want to get to is a level where we are providing information and it becomes a checkoff for them to make sure that we've got it right. So Terry Adams is working on the same type of assignment documents, which you'll see in a minute. We're working on creating a, uh, LL, an, an LLC document that has 95% of it exactly the same. So it'll be the same in every transaction. So what we're going to do is I'm going to step through a transaction tonight and I'm going to go through it quickly and I want everybody to think in terms of every piece of real estate we see has a timeline before we saw it. It's a Tarantino movie. Everything that's going on is its own timeline, right? So those timelines just happen to intersect at different parts of the movie. So we have two timelines on every piece of real estate. Patch of Land is focused on 
the core, the median part of the business, the center of the bell curve. The reason that that's important is every piece of property has its own story. Where we begin to fit in into the story of that property is what moves our story forward, right? So patch of land is focused in this range of $100,000 to $500,000, which is about 70% of all of the business of fix and flips of the 40,000 people that came to RIA meetings, about 70% of all the business that was done is in the $100,000 to $500,000 range. Patch of land is other people lending to us. We are making a presentation to them as to why they should lend us the money. Their credit criteria is they are looking for proven jockeys on good horses. They want to loan money to people who have done deals. Now, so this is where we get in. We're about to start the story, so everybody start thinking in terms of you're a wholesaler, you're wanting to get in, you don't have any money, you don't have a job, you don't have any credit. Isn't that the back that people talk about? Yeah. You hear that all the time? But what happens is, if you understand how to monetize the information and why your information is valuable, you can, we'll show you how you can sell that information and still stay in the transaction. But what happens is, Patch of Land is looking for proven jockeys on good horses. They want to loan money to people who have a demonstrated history of success. So their credit criteria is they recognize that if you're a jockey and you, are, and you are in enough races, you are going to fall. The question is, how often do you fall? Your net worth, what they're looking for is you, there has to be equity in the transaction. And there has to be somebody that signs on to, they're, they're providing a first loan. They're a debt provider. As you saw on the slide, they, they loan money. They're, they're offering between 10 and 18% for money for people to invest with them. So they're obviously going to be charging between 10 and 18%, right? So what happens is they are more concerned with how the structure of the transaction comes together and who the jockey is or who the jockeys might be in that race. And so if we continue to think through this, think about how you position yourself. The financial history, the question is, how many times have you finished in the money? The project reality, the project reality for any of these companies is they're going to loan you money, they're going to loan you money at 12% interest, they're going to want the project finished. All they want is their money back. They're loaning it interest only, they want you to sell the house, and they want you to come right back and do another one again. If you are a jockey and you are a good jockey, you're riding in the second, third, fifth, fourth, and sixth race for sure in a given day. If you go to a bank, they're going to let you ride in the second race, maybe. They might let you ride in the third race, but there's no chance they're going to let you ride in the fourth or sixth race like that. They're going to wait and see how you've done on those, then they're going to come back and fire at you another day, right? Hatch your plan does not care, nor does any of the other crowdfunding platforms. Now, let me tell you, everybody here, you can go to Patch of Land, sign up as a borrower. It takes about a minute and a half. We did this last week. It takes about a minute, two, three minutes max. Uh, all, you don't need to put any financial information in because you're wanting to get information from them, and you just put in Knox Rhea as uh, where you're registering from. They're, so what happens is they are looking for um, how to lend you money to make a project work that meets their due diligence. And they tell you straight up, we like you, we like you like a brother, but you're not our brother, so our money is expensive. But they structure it in a way that makes it work for everyone. 